Today's episode of Sahur Rith Tutor, episode 13, starts with the story of a Bedouin who heard someone reciting a verse in the Quran concerning the punishment for stealing and the male and female thief cut off their hands as a consequence for what they did, an exemplary punishment from God. Instead of correctly concluding that verse with Wallahu Azizun Hakim and Allah is the Almighty, the All Wise. The reciter wrongly recited Wallahu Ghafurur Rahim and Allah is the most forgiving and the most merciful. The conclusion of the verse actually left the Bedouin flummoxed that he commented, Mahatha Balik, this is not eloquent, not fluent, not excellently formed. Then the reciter realized that he blundered and then recited the correct ending. This short story tells us a lot about the power of excellent and coherent conclusions. Many untrained speakers only care about starting well, but do nothing significant or extraordinary when it comes to conclusions. Some speakers don't even prepare their listeners for the concluding part of their speeches. They just abruptly, like a disconnected call. This is just like the example of a person who started his life well, but ended his life after being shot by men during his robbery operation. You certainly won't qualify that person as living a life worthy of emulation, despite the fact that he started well. Intentionally planning every part of your speech, including your conclusion, makes for coherence. coherence upholds the fact that your messages should be smoothly arranged in a manner that is not confusing. Your listeners or readers should not be orphaned or stranded during your presentation. Questions like, did I miss something, should not come to their minds if they did not really miss anything. In addition, conclusively doesn't adequately replace in conclusion. Markers like, finally, to sum up, and before I say goodbye, are suitable synonyms. I'm Abdulbaki Hassan, your communication and diction expert, and this is my video series, Sahur with Tutor. Join me tomorrow at 5 a.m. for another educative lesson. Success at your fingertips.